Oh, hey. Great sport game yesterday, huh? Sure was. Wow, where'd you get that nifty beard? Well, let me show you. Um, hello, my name is Ricky Greenwell, and I'm going to share with you some tips and techniques on ventilating uh, various uh, facial hair pieces. Uh, first things first, I'm going to walk you through some of the simple uh, pieces that you need for ventilating, and then I'm going to share with you some techniques on working with hair and lace together. So the first crucial item that you're going to need is a ventilating uh, hook and uh, holder. And whatever you use for your ventilating holder, whatever is most comfortable for you, uh, the big key is your ventilating hook itself. They come in various sizes based on the amount of uh, hair that you're wanting to grab with each uh, ventilation. Uh, so your hook and your holder is the biggest process. If you've ever latch hooked um, a rug as a child, it's a similar process. Uh, so you have a leg up, but it's on a much smaller scale than you, what you're going to be dealing with. And then you're, uh, so once you have your ventilated hook and holder, you're going to deal with various types of laces. Uh, what I'm going to be ventilating on today and what we're going to have for a demo in the back is a, uh, a crown, what's referred to as a crown lace. It is a bigger scale lace and a little easier to start to learn on, but not what you're going to be making uh, mustaches with. It is what we actually put in the crowns of wigs. Uh, it is a diamond shaped pattern, uh, so it's a little bit bigger and you really only see it in mostly for the most part in crowns. What you're going to ventilate your uh, mustaches out of, there's two different types of laces here. One is a theatrical uh, lace for facial hair pieces or for front pieces. The other is a film quality piece and it's just based on, it's a personal preference. Your film quality piece is a more expensive price per yard than what generally your theatrical piece is, and it's just about distance of where you're working from. You also have to figure out where you're going to get your hair from. I tend to like to work with uh, wefted hair as opposed to loose hair, and I get most of my hair from local sources like Sally Beauty Supply because they're pretty much everywhere. Unless I have to deal with a specialty hair, that's when I custom order. Um, and then a lot of times those orders come in on loose hair. The big thing to remember is knowing where your blunt end versus your point end. Your point ends are where would the tip of the hair of the blunt end is where it would attach to the scalp. If, you're, if you ventilate upside down, what happens is you back comb the hair every time you go in to comb the hair, which you don't want to do when you're ventilating. Uh, the other si little simple tools, a type of hammer, I like to use a tacking hammer as opposed to, you know, a claw hammer per se, and then uh, just wig points so that I can actually secure my lace into place, and then uh, just the scissors that you feel comfortable as far as cutting hair with. And I just want to show you three simple examples of, uh, of pieces that uh, ha I have ventilated or worked on. Uh, this piece here in particular is a Fu Manchu piece that I ventilated probably over 12 years ago. It has gone, worked through many shows. It originally started out gray. I have since dyed it for other productions. Uh, it has gone through a lot of productions. It has held up really well. It is starting to show a little bit of wear and tear on some of the edges. But it's, I mean, it has gone through a number of performances and has worked and is lasting pretty well. And it hasn't thinned out really much at all. The next piece is just a simple goatee piece that has, uh, it has been, it's been vented with a highlight into it so that it is for an, you know, an older actor that has the grays with the hair color. And it is just a nice example of saying venting that is dealing with different hair colors. And I have a front uh, piece off of a wig. Uh, it's a nice sample because you really, with the black and white sample, you get to see the various knots and you can actually see the knot detail and variation that's going to be in there. And it's just what would be fronted on top of a wig itself. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you uh, the technique of ventilating. First, you want to loop a little bit of hair into between your forefinger and thumb. And you're going to take your ventilating hook underneath your lace. You're going to let the hook once again grab the hairs that it wants, and you want to make sure that you have an even tension. You're going to come under the lace, then your hair is going to go to the middle, the bend of the hook. You're going to wrap around, and then pull through. And you're going to pull in the direction you want your hair to, to grow in on whatever your piece is. So once again, I'm going to take my hook underneath, 
I'm gonna actually let it grab the hair that it wants to, keeping even tension to the middle. I'm gonna wrap around and then pull through so that I have a nice knot. And once again, I'm gonna speed it up a little by grabbing the hair, roll around in the middle, wrapping around and pulling through. And you just keep doing the same process until you have a full piece or a mustache. Wrap around and go through. So I'm going underneath my lace, letting it grab a hair, going to the middle, I'm wrapping around my needle through the hole that I created and pulling it out. Once again, wrap, letting it grab the hair, wrapping it, wrapping it around, going through. And you'll see that all of my hair is growing in the direction that I'm pulling away from. And you just keep doing this until you have a completed piece. So, a double knot application. So a double knot is I'm oop, taking my needle underneath the lace, pulling my hair, go through, wrap around, then I go through a second time and wrap around. So it's the process of a double knot. Once again, hair under lace, pick up hair, twist underneath, go around, bend, come back around a second time. Here is just a reminder of some of the tools you'll need for the art of ventilating. You'll need ventilating hooks and holders, appropriate lace for whatever project you're working with, wig points so that you can secure that lace to the head block, a tacking hammer to secure your wig points into your head block or chin block, any hair needed for whatever project, scissors so that you can cut that hair, comb so that you can work within the hair, and pliers so that you can remove the wig points when you are done. Well, now that you know how to uh, tie a simple knot or hair into lace, you're well on your way to uh, making your own facial hair pieces. One more piece that I want to share with you is uh, one of my favorite sources for ventilating lace and needles is, De is DeMeo Brothers out of New York. So wonderful people to give a call. They'll be happy to help you out with any project. So enjoy and then no time at all you'll have a mustache piece custom built for yourself wow that was easy and fun yes now you too can make great beards such as these goodbye bye <laughs>